We're at Clayton's house. Yeah. And we are not, don't be mistaken, we are not a review channel at all. I thought for sure we were. Well, if we are, we're doing terrible reviews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible reviews. But as you guys would have seen in a previous video, we got this Max Peating Rods generator given to us to basically try out. We had a very similar generator to this that I had purchased a couple years ago that we use at the track. We hooked the trailer up to it to power all our lights and laptops and camera gear and stuff like that. They reached out. This one has more functionality. It has, uh, it's a little bit higher powered than the one we had. So we decided to take it on. This video is not going to be for everybody, but there's certainly going to be people looking for generators for the track. As you would have seen in probably in the last couple of videos, we've been putting it through its paces. Right, Clayton? Definitely. We've had it at the track drag racing, yep. used it for the weekend there. Clayton used it at the track when he took his rabbit there and broke it. Yep. He also used it while he was fixing the rabbit the whole time in the trailer. Yeah, without a truck hooked up or nothing, just hooked right. up Right, just run, up, run on the generator. So we wanted to just talk about the generator a little bit show you a little bit of its capabilities and let you guys know what we think of it. So let's get to it. So a couple things we noticed right off the bat, uh, very simple to use, nice display. Um, obviously it has a main power on off, so that would be off. I'm not gonna get too much into this because it's pretty redundant, but anyway, you turn it on, nice digital display. You have all kinds of settings here. It tells you uh, load meter, so how much load you have on the unit itself. You can also piggyback this unit to other units if you need more power. Uh, it has USB uh, section here for USB and USB-C. It has one for uh, 120 volt uh, at 30 amps AC. Uh, it has all kinds of different features. A fuel level, which actually works as you fill it up. It'll show, end up showing you the level that you're at. Uh, also has changeable fuel source, so it goes between gas and also propane, depending on how you're hooked up, which could be beneficial in the instance if you are hooked up to an RV or what have you. Um, and now, uh, start stop button, pretty simple. Press and start. And there we go, now it's running. And some other things like uh, o, uh, CO2 alert or CO alert and everything like that. So it also has Clayton has a light. Oh yeah, has so a light. We're setting stuff up in the dark. It also, although it's push start, it does have a pull cord to be able to start it on its own. Um, and it has the app, Clayton. We tried to get this to work at the shop or at the track the last time, and me reading into it, I. Basically, it was a user error. It was a total user error because it said I needed to update something, and I didn't need to update it at all. It already had it. I already had it all figured out. So Clayton, here, show the app. The okay. So Bluetooth. There's the. This is the Max Peating Rod uh, app. This is the device that we have connected to it. Click on it. This will show you fuel level, voltage, frequency. Hours run. Hours run. All kinds of stuff. Eco mode and start stop. So we can just literally toggle this on. Oops, I did. I hit it twice, as you can see, like an idiot. We'll try that again. I get a little trigger happy. So the neat part about this is Clayton and I were talking about like the functionality of this. Because it kind of needs to be on. Um, I'll just turn it off while we're talking. Although it's and pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. Still um, oh yeah, and you can see the voltage and frequency and all that stuff. But I was kind of, we're trying to, hammer out what would be the point of having a Bluetooth function to turn it on because it does have a battery in it and when you put it in like an on position it does go to sleep after a while but if you were in a camper or ready to go to bed or you had power outage or something and you were going ready to shut down for the night you could literally just grab your phone turn it off no need to get up you don't want to be out in your tidy whities around the campground well, you don't want me out in my tidy whities tidy whities to to in the in the campground but what we're going to do as you can see, this old relic, <laughs> yeah, Mark IV R32, you guys would have seen it, long time viewers would have seen this. This is Kayla's car. I got a bunch of footage of this, by the way. There is gonna it's going to be out. video coming, but for those that don't know, it made 400, oh, we almost made 500 horsepower at one point, actually, yep. on good fuel. It ended up dropping a valve at the track. It's a heavily tracked R32 Mark IV. This setup is 
got everything this time. We're shooting for a lot more power. You guys will see videos on this in the future. But the reason we're here, we're going to test out the generator. Clayton has quick jacks here. Yep. So for and those that and obviously, yes, the garage has power. But what we're thinking we're just is instead of taking these out and putting them outside and stuff, we, you get it. It's hooked up. We can demonstrate that it works. So like if we bring these quick jacks to the track, for example, whether it's Clayton's Mark I or the drag car, we'll be able to power this thing. That's the intent. Anyways, we haven't tried this yet. We'll be able to power this thing with the quick jacks, just with the generator. So give us a second. Let's see if this actually works. All right, so we just found something out. We were thinking that if the power wasn't showing on here, that it wouldn't connect. And literally the thing was just showing off, display off, and it connected Bluetooth. So. Yeah, and I still was able to start it. So maybe what I was just saying about it going to sleep, I don't know. It was apparently asleep and we'll, I just turned it on. We'll test it maybe in a bit. But yeah, you can see the fuel, the voltage. I don't know if there's glare there. The frequency, you can put eco mode on, total hours, how much power is being used. Clearly nothing right now. Yeah. But we're gonna put it to, put it to the test. All right, so let's give this a shot. And not sponsored by Quick Jacks at all, but these things are awesome. <laughs> so watch out there, Dave. So obviously, again, it's hooked up to the generator. It's going full chooch. Is this how quick it would be on power? This is how quick it would be on power. Okay. Or right around there anyway. I don't notice a difference, so. That's it. Put down the locks for safety, and we're done. Sweet. So how about you turn that thing off now so we can talk? Okay, 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 okay. So again. It's magic. Touchless, it's magic. Bluetooth. It sort of is magic. So we do need to thank Max Beating Rods for, you know, supplying us with this generator. And obviously this thing has a thousand options. You can piggyback this thing, weld up the track. Yeah, that's what we're, we're We want to test on. it. So, so this is, uh, what model is it? MXR 4000 GT. Yeah, so it does 4000, I think, on... Peak watts or something yeah, like that. Yeah, on gasoline, and it does... Uh, it's less on propane. It's less on propane. We'll talk about it, uh, or put it in the comments, or in the... You will put section. it in the... Maybe put a little clip of, okay. like, its specs or whatever. Cool. So a couple of cool parts about it. Um, again, it, it was a little bit more powerful than the generator that I had. And we were always pretty good with the generator we had. We never had any real problems. However, using quick jacks or adding more stuff to the trailer and stuff like that, it's good to have the extra power. And we're talking about track use, but obviously people can use these to power their fridges, homes on power outages, stuff like that. Um, the only downside I would say to it from using it for the last few weeks or month or so, I guess, of pretty consistently using it, my old one had a bar and wheels on it. Mm. Although it's light, it's just the wheels were Yeah, like feature. the wheels, you just pick yeah. it up, you need to drag it around. That was about the only thing that I noticed from my old generator. However, if you didn't have the old generator and you had to lug this around, not a big deal because it's a, pretty light not a big because deal. Not a big you deal should at all. see the size of the generator that I have for power outages and you're not, it has wheels, but you're not lugging yeah, it around. Yeah, you're not lugging anywhere. it around. So for our purpose, this thing is going to be perfect. We can't thank these guys enough for chucking it our way. As I mentioned to you guys in a previous video, I wasn't going to sugarcoat it. This thing has worked flawlessly since we got it. And that's kind of happens, why, and that's kind of why we waited. Well, not really why we waited, but we've actually tested this thing. It's not like we haven't tested it. Yeah. I could have just got it and we did an unboxing and said it was amazing. That wasn't what I was intending to do with it. We wanted to make sure it was decent. It has been very, very good to us. If you guys have any questions or comments about this generator, I'll do my best to answer. There's plenty of review videos out there about these things, but it's been rock solid. We've been using it pretty steadily for a month now. Ask below. Clayton, am I forgetting anything? No, and you guys will see us use this for many things along the way, I'm sure. So. Yeah, you're going to see it in plenty of videos beyond this because this, I literally got rid of my old generator. We are now relying on this thing to stay alive and keep us powered at the track. So, see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Bye. Okay. We're not, obviously it's not on right now, but we just filmed the intro to this and I wanted to watch while Clayton lifted the car up. It saw a peak of 800 watts to lift this car up.
and this will do a peak of 4,000 watts. Yep. So we can lift like five more cars, Clayton. And these are heavy. <laughs> and those are heavy, yeah. 